Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 29 on ABAP. In this video, I'm going to explain how to populate values in your list box, like screen parameter. So we have um, gone through how to create a input screen with parameters, select option, selection screen, keywords. So we have different components like input box, check box, option button, radio button, it's both the same. Uh, push button and list box, right? So a variety of uh, screen components and we have al almost gone through everything. There is a one pending uh, area as to think about how to populate a value in a list box. So we need an idea or knowledge of function module, then this portion is very easy. That is the reason I skipped in that video and this is going to be the continuation of that, okay? So how to populate a value to the list box? Let's get into the system. Uh, slide first so for your example this is the i um simple example of your list box uh, very frequently you are seeing this pop-up window while creating a program what type of program executable include model pool like these are the list okay so now we are going to have the same kind of uh, input box i'm going to add the value so the values could be a hard-coded value or from your database table so depends on your requirement so the step one um, this is a syntax which we have already seen like parameters, uh, variable name like list box name of 10 as list box visible length 20. Normally this visible length is required for a list box because you have the arrow drop down arrow mark that is actually uh, hiding the text value whatever is available in the text is hiding because of uh, the arrow mark that is the reason you have to say visible length is required. So here a visible length is very big. It, it contains maybe um, 10 or 15 marks, but they might give a very big visible length of your list box. So here we are going to take a structure called key and text. Okay, so if you take any list box, it has two parameters. One is key, another one is text. Whatever you are seeing is nothing but text. So executable program, it's very easily understand to the user. Okay, user friendly text and key is especially for the programmer. So text is for users and key is for programmers. If executable program is selected, what is the relevant key for this text? Based on the key value, the program is going to be uh, behave. If it is executable, go to this subroutine and go to the other subroutine. So that is the way we have to uh, understand, as I mean the program can understand what text is selected in the front end, meaning in your screen level. So that is nothing but key. So key is for programmers, text is for end user. Okay. And based on that, I'm going to create an internal table based on the structure. The structure has two fields, key and text. I'm going to create an internal table for it. And after creating an internal table, I'm going to fill the data based on the requirement. Okay. That is a second step. So key and text, uh, probably I might fill key is like uh, 40 characters length. You can have what whatever key you want, like one, two, three, or K1, K2, depends on your need. You can just add a key. This, this is only for the programmers going to be used only in the program. So that is up to you. And the text depends on the requirement. You have to add the text. Either it this internal table can be filled by hard-coded values or it can be filled from any of your database table. Okay. So that, that is, I'm not going to explain this because we have already seen how to fill an internal table based from your database uh, table data so just fill it based on your need and then this is second step after this i'm going to map my internal table to the list box so these are the three steps which you are going to do so here um the structure and what i'm talking about is vrm underscore value is the structure name and um, this one mapping is going to be happen with the help of function module vrm underscore set underscore values very simple you can mention all start with vrm so here we are going to introduce a small new concept called type group okay type group is nothing but uh, the different types of structures are gathered and keep it in a place keep it in one place that is nothing but a type group okay so collection of different structures so in simple way, I can say the type group is a collection of different structures. So if you go to type group VRM underscore, uh, sorry, VRM under the VRM type group, you can have n number of structures related to the VRM. Okay. So in that particular uh, VRM type group, one of the idea is uh, list box, one of the 
a design is for list box so that is also available over there so i will show you the type group erm how it looks like and the function model is vrm underscore set underscore values this is going to be help to map the internal table with your list box field and finally once the user select this the value to be displayed in the output screen so how the values are captured uh, especially for the programmer to run the program or to create the program depends on the user input that's also we will we will see that and that's it okay let me take you to the system this is my system and with a parameter list box and f8 so i will get l1 and there is an empty and if you need some default values so you can say default some values normally we you go with select this box so f8 will get select so now i'm going to declare a work area list type vrm underscore value okay just double click it will take you to the type group vrm so this is especially for the value request manager okay so that is the idea of this vrm so it design with mostly with structures so here you have a structure this is nothing but everything is start with types okay so this is a structure this is a table type they created nothing but vrm values vrm values is a structure vrm values end with s is a table type same like for vrm id so almost uh, many things and then constants so it's nothing but a full design and uh, whenever you need the particular design you can make use of this okay n number of type groups are available in sap and one of the type group is vrm and normally if you go with uh, um, alv we have another uh, type group called slis s l i s so those are the structures are already ready you don't want to create anything from the scratch the structures are ready just make use of it so now i need a structure nothing but key and text this is going to be used for list box okay and i need um, body of an internal table so that may be like this vrm underscore values so if you want to use the table type directly or if you excuse me if you're going to use a structure then type table of vrm underscore value not s okay so either way you can use and i need to write a code and this is a screen programming uh, you always remember uh, there are two areas where you can write a screen uh, coding one is pbo and another is pai before process output pro, um, process after input right so pbo process before output so here before the screen pop ups i need to fill the value to my list box so i need to write the code in at selection screen output so that is nothing but pbo process before output so here i am manually filling the information uh, you can do the same or depends on your requirement you can fill the data from your database table so using select and then loop it and fill this internal table depends on your need executable program and i need to fill my body of an internal table so i am using append and once the scope is done the best practice is clear your work area so this is a hard coded uh, way so i need to copy paste like i need to continue for how many records i want i'll go with three records here uh, one as executable and another one as include the final one as module pool programming and another one is uh, better you clear your body of an internal table at the beginning if, because if the user is not going out of your screen if they are keep on um, using the same screen then what happens every screen refresh your internal table is getting filled with the same record again and again so every refresh it will add three more records duplicate records so to avoid it always refresh your body of an internal table before you fill it especially for append 
whenever using append suppose you fill through directly from the database table you don't want to do it every time it will overwrite if there is any record available but append it won't overwrite it will add again and again okay i'm almost done two steps are over i use the structure and i created uh, i fill the data to my uh, internal table so and finally i need to call the function module called vrm underscore set underscore values you know how to call this Control F6 or you have to click pattern and you have to give whatever the function model to be called. So VRM underscore set underscore values. And here um, you will get some lines, additional lines. Suppose if you want to declare what are the exporting parameter of your function module, you can use this. It's in the new syntax means new version. They added it. Um, so here I don't want to use it because I'm going to hard code it my value. L1 is a case sensitive, it should be in capital letter, your uh, list box name and then uh, the values of your list box is available in the internal level called it underscore list. So if you want to um, you make use of the exception uncommented and using size sub bar, so you can start um, writing the code whatever you want. So normally like this, if size sub bar C not equal to zero or equal to one specific information then you can start writing whatever information is required because exceptions are raised in the function module that is not captured in the function module that needs to be captured wherever you are calling the function module okay i'm done execute uh, sorry activate it first and then uh, some breakpoint just take out execute it so select just click you will get executable program include and model pool programming so this is a way to fill your list box uh, in your input screen and we, uh, i need to know what is the value of it so this is a screen programming so i need some events to be added here for the output screen startup selection and i'm going to say write and the parameter name your list box name is l1 so this will capture the key value okay your list box captures the key value text is only for user if you say executable program and click execute it shows one not one so now you are able to write the program write the coding for it so include program so one not two and select is override because of pbo so model pool program select the default values it's got overwritten on here so one not three so whatever value user selected this parameter uh, input bo uh, list ball parameter is captured the exact value the key value okay then you can start writing the program like if l1 equal to 101 do this 102 do this else do this okay so clear this is a way to fill the list box and access or get the key of the particular text which is selected from the user side so just play around and if you have any doubt please let me know and um, thank you for your time see you in the next video bye